Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to do a smart SGP. It's quote unquote smart because we will do in the SGP but in the smart way. Okay, first consider this. For example, you have a 1000 file in your server and you want to move that file to your local PC. And to do that, you can use two way. First, you're doing the SGP or secure copy. Or the second way is using AirSynchron. AirSynchron is R S Y N C. And you know, actually the optimal way is using AirSynchron, but AirSynchron there is not exist in every server. And in this case, my server doesn't have AirSynchron. That's why. Uh, using the STP and because of that you know there's one weakness of the STP for example in my case in our case that we have a 1000 file and then the STP can track the latest progress of your download for example when you do the STP slash asterisk you will download all that file right but for example consider this the SCP is fail in the 100 file in 100 yeah it's fail in the in 100 file and then if you want to run the SCP again it will back to the first file so it will repeat it will replace the first file in your local PC and it will run again until for example in the in your second attempt it failed but in 200 file and then because it failed you must run again right and it will begin again in the first file that's why that's why if you just using the vanilla stp it will be very very not good for your quota internet Okay, that's why in here I already built a smart STP yet using a bus script. Okay, in here we have a several variable. The first variable here is the location of the file that we want to download. For example, it's located in for example it's located in here and then this is the file list the file list is the list of all the files that we want to download that's why before we run this we must doing the ls in the server here this is the list of the file that i want to download in my previous case i say that uh that we have a uh, 1000 but in this case i uh, only have a uh, 180 and then in here this is the remote username for your server here i have anon and then remote host is the ip address of your server and for the remote path is this is the location that where you want to download that file okay actually this is just the example actually i already download the file using the template script and it's located in here okay move to the main function script <coughs> here this is the main loop so how it works first it will iterate all the list of file in here it will iterate begin from here and then after that it will check the file size check file size is a function and as you can see here it will check two things first it will check if this file is already in here or not and then it's also check the size of that file you know why i using this because actually the STP can fail in the middle of the process download, right? For example, the size of your file is 20 megabyte, 
but it fell in for example in 200 bytes that's why if you if i only check the here the existing of the file without check the size of the file it will it will not download the file but when you use that file it will corrupt because the size the file is not fully downloaded if the file is already in that but the size is not sufficient with the threshold then it will download again and then also if the file is not in the directory then it will download using the stp here this is we will enter this part if this is if it's the tune zero but we will enter this part if it the tune one okay actually because this process is will be taking a very long time that's why in here i will just show you the echo so it's like i just the comment out the stp because because in this video i will not doing the real stp <coughs> and as you can see here it say that it's already exists there's no echo stp here because you can see here i already download all the files so it will no, it will download nothing but if i change this for example to to Okay. to here 20 23 1 here it will stp all the file and that's it it's very simple actually but for me it's very helpful because you know when you have a uh, many file that you want to download and in your server doesn't have a resin run it will be taking a very long time to download all of them and test your luck if you just using the vanilla stp okay i think that's all bye